Naja, look, the pigmentation and the pigmentation phenotype plays a significant role. So, you know, the people have different uh, in color, this is all genetically controlled. Yeah. There are people who have a very fair, very white skin. And then there are people who have a very, a very dark skin. And then they're basically a, uh, they basically, uh, the continuum around the various skin uh, tones. The reality is this, if people have a fairer skin, then they develop more photo damage. And photo damage, chronic photo damage leads particularly to the develop of so-called keratinocyte cancer, squamous cell carcinoma, and precursor lesion, but also to development of melanoma. It's not so straightforward, but they, they have an impact. What we have now uh, basically done, we have done research where we look at the genotype, particularly in the pigmentation genotype of certain uh, of, of people and on a white cohort of people, and then correlated with the needles number and then with the melanoma risk. Just to make a, a simple example, if you have red hair, or you have the red hair gene, then you have a four times, actually a two to four times higher risk for developing melanoma over the lifetime. Yeah, so this is a relative risk. But you can also have the red hair gene if you don't have red hair. So it's a little bit more complicated. But for example, if you have the red hair gene, you never can have, you never can have black hairs. Yeah? absolutely impossible. If you really have black hair, you never have the red hair genes. And of course, if you have red hair, you basically have the red hair genes, right? But usually people who have the red hair genes and red hair, they usually don't have too many moles. Right? Actually, they have fractures, but not too many moles, not too many nevi. But now we have found that we have also published this with people who have the red hair gene and the red hair, in particular the red hair gene, and also many moles, they have a much higher risk for, for melanoma. And these are this group of people who really need to have significant closer follow-up for development of, of melanoma. And this is goes obviously into the direction what is now they nowadays call precision medicine, right? For genetic findings combined with phenotypic findings lead to, to a better characterization. So this is one of the, the things which we have already published and found out. It was long well known that the red hair gene leads to increased melanoma, but we made it also now, we, we showed the association between red hair, red hair gene, and many moles, that this is a higher risk, yeah? And this is independent of the risk to 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 squamous cell carcinoma. So if it makes some sense, it's a bit of a complex topic. But in the years to come, this um, genotypic phenotypic correlation will become more and more relevant in many disciplines of medicine, not just in dermatology, right? I mean, this is from mental health to cardiovascular risk in everywhere the genetic is now is now kicking in and gives us insights which we didn't have before.